Hey guys, the theme of today's build is going to be the bug out box based on the concept of a bug out bag, which is when you need to get up and go and move quickly, you can easily grab a bag full of essentials and get on your way based on the whole fact that we're in the midst of this pandemic right now, the concept of being able to just quickly grab something and go, I thought would make for an interesting theme for a PC build. So I've acquired some ITX components and I've taken some of the parts out of my secondary PC, which had the i9-9900K and I was using for uh, like a capture PC with the Avermedia capture card. This won't allow me to use the capture card, but if I wanted to quickly grab a my PC and travel, I would have the option to do so. Uh, so with that said, we've got the Lian Li TU-150 Mini ITX case, which has a handle built into the top. We'll get that out here in a minute, and I'll show you that. And we've got an ASRock uh, Z390 Phantom Gaming motherboard. And the other components uh, were pretty much the same as they were, uh, other than the power supply, which is a Seasonic Focus 500-watt gold-certified fully modular itx size power supply. So we've got a couple new components, some that we already had, and we're going to be using the uh, EVGA XC Ultra 2070 Super that I've since modified with the hybrid kit. So stick around, we'll show you how it goes. Let's just bug out and call it even, okay? Who's attacking games? If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. Okay, so we've got instruction manual, comes with screws and all kinds of different things in there that you need to mount whatever hardware you're gonna use. We've got what looks to be USB 3 for the front header, USB-C if your board supports it. Unfortunately, I don't think the ASRock board that I went with is actually gonna support that, but um, a problem we've been having lately since the whole pandemic thing uh, is that shipping is really weird from Amazon. And some of the stuff that I may have wanted to go with couldn't have been here for like a month. It's like certain motherboards were available immediately and some of them you couldn't get for a long time. And there wasn't a whole lot of rhyme or reason as to why one was available and one was not going to be. But I had to go with what I had to go with. And so this is what we took. Uh, the Azerock, say Phantom Z390. It's my first Azerock motherboard also. So I kind of wanted to play with around with their hardware. And it's a good looking board, but I don't think it has a USB-C header on it. But it does have Thunderbolt 3. So that's kind of a nice uh, offset. So that's something that you don't always get with the motherboards. Uh, you got your front port audio, and you've got a couple for like your power switches and your reset switch. And this is the little, this connects to your power supply, which mounts up in here. And then there's a cable that runs through the roof of the case. I can show you a little bit better. And you can't really see underneath here. You have to take the top of the case off so you can see that, but it runs up to the back. And uh, up here, it'll go at the back and then you can see Give me one second here so you can see we got the where the exits out here and then you can plug it into the wall from there so uh, that allows you to use your uh, your power supply mounted at the front of the case which is kind of interesting I don't think I've ever had a case that worked that way so that's interesting so we got room for either a 120 millimeter or one four I think it looks like it'll just do a 120 on here uh, radiator for either like an exhaust fan or a radiator for like a, your CPU, which is what I'm gonna put on there is a, the EVGA CLC 120 radiator. And then we've also got, we got room for a couple more fans on the bottom, which could be used for intake or exhaust, but I think it would be intake since cool air rises. You wanna pull in some cool air from the bottom, have it come up and then exhaust back out that back panel. And there's room for one more fan up front and then you've got uh, what looks like little vents here on the front on both sides where it's pulling in air. So this is intake, 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 
exhaust, oops, sorry about bumping the camera, exhaust out the back. And then you've got room back here where it looks like you could mount probably a 2.5 inch drive to sit on there. And maybe on the back side of it, you might be able to put a 3.5 inch drive. Let me get the back panel off and we'll verify what you can or can't mount back there. So yeah, according to the uh, manual, you actually can mount either a 2.5 inch or a 3.5 inch drive on the back here. There's like a couple rubber feet you can put on the drive and then it'll just kind of recess and sit into these holes here. But that said, I'm gonna go ahead and start building here. All right, so you can see here we've got the machine completed and everything is running correctly and the GPU is running at like 29 degrees. CPU is running about 34, so things are working pretty well. Got polychrome sync working, so the lights change as we desire them to do uh, different patterns and whatnot, so it looks pretty good. And then I've got a little portable display here from a company called Uperfect, which you can see right here. Get up a little closer. Uperfect makes portable displays that are uh, capable of like you know pretty good resolution some of them are HDR this is a 3800 wait no it's 3200 by 1800 resolution and it's like 400 nits but it is HDR capable so it's like you know your base level HDR 400 but it does a pretty good job and so that can be grabbed and go as well so in keeping with the uh, you know bug out build I figured a small portable display to go along with the the, uh, the system would be a good combination. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this content and I'll be sure to make another video soon. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.